Welcome to four examples of converting a rectangular equation to a cylindrical equation. We're asked to find an equation in cylindrical coordinates for the rectangular equation z equals x squared plus y squared minus two, which is graphed below. Notice how the graph is a paraboloid. For a quick review, in three dimensions, when we have a point in rectangular form, it's in the form x comma y comma z. In cylindrical form, which is just an extension of polar coordinates in two dimensions to three dimensions, a point is in the form r comma theta comma z, which are pictured here in the three-dimensional graph. Comparing these coordinates tells us to write a rectangular equation in cylindrical form, we must perform a substitution for x and y so that the new equation in cylindrical form only contains the variables r, theta, and z. To perform the conversions, we use the equations shown below, which relate x, y, z, r, and theta. So going back to our equation, z equals x squared plus y squared minus two, we must perform a substitution for both x and y. Looking at our equations, notice how r squared equals x squared plus y squared. Using this equation to perform a substitution for x squared plus y squared, gives us the equation z equals r squared minus two. Notice how this equation only contains z and r, and therefore it is now in the cylindrical form. And it is common when writing an equation in cylindrical form to either solve the equation for r or z. Let's look at another example. Here we're given the equation y squared equals 10 minus z squared. Again, it's okay to have the variable z in the equation, but not the variable y, and because y is equal to r sine theta, we use this equation to perform a substitution for y squared. y squared is equal to the square of r sine theta. Our equation is now the square of r sine theta equals 10 minus z squared. Notice how the equation only contains the variables r, theta, and z, and therefore it is in cylindrical form, but let's go ahead and simplify it further. Let's square the left side, which would give us r squared sine squared theta, and then we have equals 10 minus z squared. Let's go ahead and solve this for z squared by adding z squared to both sides, and also subtracting r squared sine squared theta from both sides. This will give us the equation z squared equals 10 minus r squared sine squared theta. Either of these last two equations would be common forms for the equation in cylindrical form. For our third example, we are given the rectangular equation x equals y squared, which is graphed below. Notice how we have a parabolic cylinder. For this equation, we need to perform a substitution for both x and y. x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. Performing the substitution gives us r cosine theta equals y squared is going to be r squared sine squared theta, which we saw from the previous example. Notice how this equation only contains r and theta, therefore it is in cylindrical form. Let's go ahead and solve this for r. To solve this for r, let's first divide both sides by r. Simplifying, r divided by r simplifies to one. We have cosine theta equals, on the right side, r squared divided by r simplifies to one factor of r. We have r sine squared theta. And now to solve for r, we'll divide both sides by sine squared theta. Simplifying on the right, sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta simplifies to one. Let's go ahead and change the order of the equation and write this as r equals cosine theta divided by sine squared theta. This might be one common form to leave the equation in using cylindrical coordinates or cylindrical form. Let's go ahead and write this down. But let's also show how we can change the form of this so there's no fraction involved. We can also write this as cosine theta 
divided by sine theta times one over sine theta. Notice how we still have cosine theta divided by sine squared theta, but in this form, cosine theta divided by sine theta is equal to cotangent theta, and one over sine theta is equal to cosecant theta. So we could also write this as r equals cotangent theta times cosecant theta. Either of these two forms would be common forms for the equation in cylindrical form. Let's look at one more example. Here we're given the equation x squared plus y squared equals six y, which is graphed below. Notice we have a cylinder. To write using cylindrical coordinates, we need to perform a substitution for x squared plus y squared and y. x squared plus y squared equals r squared and y equals r sine theta, which gives us the equation r squared equals six r sine theta. Because the equation only contains r and theta now, it is in cylindrical form, but let's go ahead and solve this for r by dividing both sides by r. On the left, r squared divided by r is equal to r. On the right, r divided by r simplifies to one, giving us the equation r equals six sine theta. This is the most common form for the cylindrical equation. I hope you found this helpful.